Hello, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. My name is Kimmy and I'm very happy to have you at my channel here today. This is going to be a general reading for Thursday for whomever it resonates with. The energy can extend beyond that time frame and at any given point in time if you're drawn back to this video, it could be your video then. So my name is Kimmy. Very happy to have you here. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and, and also the thumbs up button while you're here. Truly appreciate your assistance with that. Everyone, please like, comment, and share. And there seems to be a slight um, misconception regarding Patreon, so I wanted to just address that real quick. There were six signs that the monthlies did not get uploaded. I was overwhelmed with personal readings and um, I don't, anybody else that does energy work, you, you will understand that um, it's very exhausting. It's very exhausting connecting to so many people's different energies and I needed to take some time off. So um, from a health perspective, that had to come first, but as a result of that, I've taken a look at everything um, regarding the channel. I did have to increase the prices of my personal readings, the live ones, because that was just a trial run. Um, they take me much longer than 15 minutes. Those of you that have had them will understand that completely. So I have um, increased the price to that on my, my standard personal readings. I completely understand some of you are unable to afford such things. So I have two different ways to provide you with extra content. Um, first and foremost, just the one that you've been used to already, Vimeo. That's being able to go up and, and view an extended portion of a reading. Um, for a much reduced price. And then I also have Patreon for those of you that want exclusive content that's not going to be here on YouTube. It's not affecting the content that I'm already delivering to you. You'll still be receiving the monthlies and weeklies here on YouTube. But those of you on Patreon get dedicated love readings. On YouTube, we get whatever comes out. On, um, on Patreon, it's you and the person that you're energetically connected to. The two energies show up in the spread. Gives us a little bit more information on love situations, things of that nature. Um, in addition, those of you that are up on Patreon will have early access to the videos that are going to be posted in, on YouTube, and that will begin in December. But like I said, there is going to be no changes to what you already get here, just this past month, I've been a little tired and I appreciate your patience with that. I truly do, every once in a while we need a little break <laughs> so that I can continue to deliver you good content going forward, so thank you. Let's see what we have for Thursday, one oracle card please. I'm seeing a boat, a boat. Either somebody's on a boat, getting ready to board a boat, or is looking at purchasing one. I feel like somebody's looking at purchasing a boat. I'm also seeing seagulls overhead, so this appears to be um, by the seashore somewhere. Somewhere by the seashore. And I'm actually seeing waves, so it's definitely on an ocean. So why the boat? Why the boat? Why the boat, Dream Team? Getting the name Tom, the name Lee, and Pam. Very short, short names. There's some. There's something. Um, for the person who's buying a boat, um, do be cautious. There is, is, is a, a minute detail you might be missing. So, you know, take a little step back, kind of look at things from different angles. Um, you know, look at things over again, because I, I feel like you're missing a detail. You're missing something of importance. It's going to be like, you know, very tiny, tiny detail, but it's important. Um, for those of you associated with the names that came up, I feel like, this reading may end up being for you or somebody you're connected to. All right, so we've got two cards that came out for you in our Mystical Wisdom deck. We got Illusion, Embrace the Truth, and Dove, Take a Leap of Faith. So in Illusion, 
It says, illusion, embrace the truth. I feel like somebody is going to either remove the blinders from their eyes so that they could see a situation from, you know, the, the correct vantage point. Or somebody is going to allow another person to see them for who they are. There's a mirror here. It's like she's trying to trying to move away from the mirror. Somebody's not facing something within themselves, something of importance. They're uh, with the people that we have here on the side. I see the policemen and you know these people. You know, helping these people cross the street. It appears that in order for you to get to a specific destination, whatever that destination may be, if it's work or if it's if it's with regards to love, if it's regards to school, whatever the case may be, in order for you to get to that particular des destination, you have to face the truth within yourself. Whatever that truth may be. You have to face the consequences of any kind of actions you may have had. You also have to look at things very, very clearly on what's going around on around you or with people that you're associated with or situations you're associated with you know uh, allowing you know, these people to walk walk across the street it's like there is there's freedom in honesty there's freedom and truth not looking at things from you know an honest perspective prevents you from moving forward. It leaves you stuck. So for whomever this is, it's time to either embrace the truth within you, the truth of a situation, or express yourself honestly, allow somebody to see who you really are. And then we have a dove, take a leap of faith. Oh, beautiful. This is gaining the courage and the strength to follow something that you, that you have been wanting to do. This is having the courage and the strength to make a life decision, make some sort of choice regarding, regarding your future. This is moving in a direction that feels, feels a little bit daunting, but knowing that when you make that choice, when you take that step forward, there's peace here and you'll have all that you wanted. You'll have your wishes, you'll have your dreams, you'll have your desire. But it requires you to complete the journey by taking that first step. I say complete the journey because you're moving towards something specific. And the journey is behind her here, rather than in front of her. You've already been through a lot. You've already been through a difficult journey as it is. And now here's an opportunity for you to take a step in a direction that's gonna make you very happy. Okay, let's see what else we have for Thursday. Somebody's sanctuary is a person. They find peace in a person. This person gives them strength. This person gives them um, we got the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Coins. Palace of Wands, right at the center. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The lovers. I told you, you have sanctu sanctuary and a person for somebody. And a person. King of Swords, speaking your truth. Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. Wow. All right. Directly underneath that, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. Oh my goodness, Reunion. Nine of Cups. Interesting. So here's here's your new beginning. 
Here's your leap of faith. Here's your leap of faith. Passionately stepping forward into your future with a person. You're defending. This this is our, our card of competition. It's also that card of holding on tight to something that's very important to you. So somebody's holding on to a person that's extremely important to them. Um, they, they may feel like they're fighting off competition or they may have to, but they're defending their position. If this is work, you're defending your position at work. He's positioned over a star on the floor. I, I feel like I feel like he is this person, man or woman, doesn't matter, but I'm referring to the man on the card. Uh, that he is defending something that is a wish, a dream, a desire. Something that creates within this person an, an intensity of, of drive and passion and energy and excitement and enthusiasm. Um, with that ace of wands is quite lovely especially with the palace of wands being right here in the center the palace of wands the palace of wands has two knight of wands on it can you see them one here one here so we're dealing with two people so i'm going to address the two knights that are on this particular card the palace of wands is a place where creativity and passion and an action occurs. This is a place where ideas are turned into dreams that are turned into reality. This is where, you know, somebody is pursuing an, an artistic endeavor or pursuing something that, that really just like sets their soul on fire, right? We have two Nine of Wands on here. So we have two people represented. They're, they're almost at a standoff a little bit. <laughs> But two people that are, that are represented on this card, on these pillars, two people that are working hard to attain something in their life, working hard towards achieving their goals, towards pursuing their, their life purpose, their, their, um, the things that they're passionate about. Now, on a, on a positive level, the, the Knight of Wands is, is very action-oriented. He also moves very rapidly, tends not to give a lot of thought to what he's doing. <laughs> he or she just like launches forward, it's like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to accomplish this, I'm going to, you know, step, step towards my person. Now on a negative aspect, this Knight of Wands kind of like comes in and out and in and out and in and out. So this could represent two people who are very intense in nature. Two people who are very action oriented, very driven in life to succeed. Um, two people who, you know, have no trouble speaking their mind and, and, you know, taking a step forward, making that leap of faith, right? Two people that, that have that strong kind of energy, but also two people that can sometimes grow cold. Because they've got so many other things going on in their mind, and they've got so many other things going on around them. That heavy energy of, you know, forward movement, forward movement, forward movement can cause a little bit of a pillar between them. Because they're both striving towards something. And here's the wall between them. But yet, we have this gigantic palace. Together... Together, if they were to bounce ideas off one another, they they would be unending. Like they would both have the intense passion and drive to create something something big and beautiful. Kind of um, I don't know why this song is coming to my to my mind. We could be heroes. Who who sings that song? I don't know the. The words of the song. <laughs> I don't know where the word the words of the song, but it's kind of it's sort of like these two people together. Because I was feeling like you know I'm a superhuman, like intense. These are two very intense people together. 
that energy just expands and is explosive in a positive way. I'm not, you know, I'm sure you probably are two very controlling people that butt heads as well. Um, but the energy expansion between the two of you, it's, it's like you can create your own empire. <laughs> I've used that term a lot on my, on my social media lately, but, um, you know, together, you, the two of you can, can create your own empire, whatever, whatever that looks like to you. That could be just very simply, you know, the two of you running a, a sales shop together of some sort, selling something, or, you know, the two of you traveling around the world, creating, you know, media content somewhere, whatever that means to you, wherever that happiness, that passion, that drive is for you. I know I'm going a little bit long today, y'all, but I, I'm very into your reading today for Thursday, so just bear with me. So we start out with this Ten of Wands. Somebody who feels like they just can't take any more of other people's issues, carrying other people's burdens while carrying all of their own burdens. This is a person who's, who's saying, I'm tired, enough is enough. I have to release some of this. This is, you know, when that person starts saying, okay, look, you know, I know you're having some issues, but I'm not going to mediate between the two of you. I know you're dealing with this stress, that stress, you know, I, I have to deal with my own stuff. So it's you kind of taking control and saying, okay, I got to release some of this stuff. I got to release some of these burdens because you're wanting a brand new start, a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning with this person. The two of you might be married, might be having some struggles and, and other people's, you know, one of the two of the partners giving so much to family and friends may be a problem. Um, for those of you that are not married, you know, this could be a desire to connect with your person on a deeper level. For those of you that, um, you know, are, are completely single and you found your person, it's you wanting to start something solid with this person. I'm being so enthusiastic about doing that. Uh, a choice has been made with regards to love. So if there's been multiple people, a choice, a decision has been made. But this is two people who, like I said, together, together there's this, this sense of peace, you know? Together there's a sense of peace and strength. It's, it's calm, it's loving, it's nurturing. It, there's this connection that's undeniable an undeniable connection that together when they're together that connection just feels warm and wonderful and happy it's like the entire world could be falling down all around these two people but yet they have each other they have each other it's absolutely positively beautiful strong emotional bond physical bond spiritual bond etc absolutely beautiful there's a warning with the lover's card though be cautious about allowing each other to have your individual freedoms. Because this is two people who are going to want to be together 24-7. Um, and you are, you are going to need your individual time. Then we have our King of Swords. Somebody's going to be speaking their truth. Somebody's going to be speaking their truth. No more illusions. Nothing hidden anymore. Somebody's going to be speaking their truth. It's beautiful. Um, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, here's our, our lovely night, the same night that's on here. For some of you, this is a reunion. For others, you may be going to friends and family saying, how do I make this happen? You know, this is, this is my person who I strongly want to be with. You know, what do I need to do? For those of you that are together already in a long-term relationship or married, just could be very simply the two of you enjoying time with one another. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. It seems to be moving in a positive direction because it is surrounded by both the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So things are moving in a positive direction. And if they have not yet started to move in a positive direction, this leap of faith towards solidifying something here, whether it's you know renewing a connection or starting fresh, it looks beautiful. All right, my dears, that's what I have for you for Thursday. I hope it's of hope to some of you. 
Um, please be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, that sort of thing. I truly appreciate it. Truly, truly. Once again, if you missed the announcements at the beginning because you decided to use a timestamp, I, I ask you to please watch the announcements because I, I seem to be addressing all of those same the same announcements in everybody's questions. So please take a look at that. Truly appreciate your time. And I shall see you guys again later. Don't forget to subscribe. Patreon for dedicated love readings. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.